How's it going? Dave from Comic Books and... Well, sorry. There's... Is it me? I feel like something's wrong here. Like, this... Do you guys see it too? Like, there's something wrong with all this. I know what it is. Ah, yes. Much better, as you can see. How do you guys like my new setup? That's why I haven't really been making as many videos lately, and I've just been working on this little studio here, this little setup that I got. I got Spider-Man over here. Got a comic book right here. And yeah, so this is kind of where my new studio will be, and it's in my uh, office pretty much. I just have a corner. I built this wall back here, another one of those walls that I decided to build. I wasn't going to do it originally. I had a different idea, but then pretty much I went to Lowe's, and they had pretty much the same thing that I used before, but these times there was a little, it was a little easier setup. So I was like, you know what, I'll just do it again. Um, I really enjoyed making it. I will show uh, basically a video of me making this studio. It took uh, quite a bit of time, but it was definitely kind of fun doing it. Very, yeah, very time consuming. So first what I had to do was I have to paint it all black. The reason why you have to paint it all black is because with the, some of the, you know, the wood doesn't line up exactly right. That's kind of the point of having reclaimed wood. And sometimes there's like holes and knots and just different like offsetting things that will show through to the wall behind. So if you have white behind you, it is really apparent. So when you make it black, it makes it nice and easy and you barely even notice it. It's a good, it's, trust me, it's very good. I learned my lesson the first time. All right, next now I'm, I'm putting up the, the wood obviously, and I have those little blue painter tapes on there, and that's to show me where the studs are. So this would go a lot faster, but as you can see, I have to level each one because you, because this is reclaimed wood, so you don't want to have, you know, different ones bow and bend at different spots. So if you just put it, butt it right against it, over time it could lop one side or the next. So you have to level each one. Also, this would go so much faster, but the, the nail gun I have is like this staple gun. And so I'll push it into the wall and then all of a sudden it will only go in like to the wood and it won't go any further than that. It's super annoying. So I literally have to put the nails in and they don't go in very far. So then I have to come back with a hammer and hammer each one. So very, very, very annoying. Uh, it would probably take like a quarter of the time if I didn't have to do that every single time. Go back and nail them in if I had like a, a good solid uh, nail gun. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just going through getting everything done. A little break there to figure out what I'm going to do next because every piece is a little different so I'm trying to line up things that are just a little different so it you know catches the eye a little better when I got down towards the end because I offset these slightly so there's like a gap in between each one it's kind of like just the way I decided to do them uh, artistic style I guess I got towards the end and I realized oh no three pieces won't fit, two pieces won't fit. So I had to, I basically took off the top board and realigned them closer together. And then I had to basically cut, I'm texting someone, um, or what I do. So now I'm turning the other side. And the reason why I didn't want to go all the way across, this just goes to the windowsill. And you know, and then the way I have the camera set up for my uh, video is it looks like the whole thing is all but it's really just a small portion of my wall i think it's about eight feet tall and i think it's eight feet wide on one side and then i think it's about the other side is probably like three feet the one that i'm currently doing right now so now i'm pretty much finished with putting all the wood down i have to cut it and now I'm painting the side because there's a little black that was overhanging after I put it in. So now it's nice and smooth. Now I'm painting 
some of the boards. And the reason why I do that is give it some, a certain look. And so I'm just kind of picking random ones to, so it just looks, looks a little different. I did this on my last one and I kind of liked it. It didn't turn out as well as I hoped because the sander I'm using right now is not very good as the previous one I had. It's, it was too fine of sandpaper so it wasn't really like grabbing and ripping the, the paint to make it more of a distressed look. But yeah, so this is my new studio. This is where I'll be doing videos. I'll still do videos in front of the computer though when I have to, yeah, do ones where I need a computer. But now I can have this nice little dedicated space to just doing videos. Trying to get the lighting figured out and that kind of stuff. But I think I, think I pretty much got it for the most part. Uh, this Spider-Man over here, <laughs> very long story. Um, but yeah, this Spider-Man here, I've had for six years, five years, been sitting in a garage getting dusty. It was my brother's. My dad got it and gave it to my brother, and then he had it, but then he moved to Hawaii and couldn't take it, so I sat in a garage at my dad's house. Then my cousin moved in with me, and then he just randomly brought it for some reason. I have no idea why. He brought it, and then it just sat in a garage at my house for five or six years or whatever it's been, and it's just been getting dusty, and now I finally have a use for it, finally. Before, I, I literally was going to, I thought about selling it because I was like, I just, and I looked up how much they were, and it's like, ah, oh, just ship it and all that kind of stuff. I was like, whatever. I don't know what I'll do with it, but now I think I finally found a use for the Spider-Man. The Spider-Man was actually at all blockbusters when the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man came out. This was like the standee for it. So it has a little emblem down at the bottom. I will show you guys a video of what the rest of my office looks like in case you guys are curious. But yeah, so let's look at the rest of my office. So here's my computer where I do work. Not much going on, pretty messy, ton of stuff. That is the first picture I ever took with my dog Frankie. Those are his paw prints. That right there is my song Wonder Woman. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I think you guys will like the music video. It's in a waveform. And this is pretty much the studio looks like, as you can see. Just got my desk there, got a microphone and a light, a bunch of guitars on the side. Got my Elon picture that people have been asking about. That photo right there is actually um, on our second date. We took a, uh, there's a picture we're at a bar and we're kissing or whatever. I took that picture, I gave it to a comic book artist and had them draw that. And here is the actual pencils of that drawing. I then had the artist then scan it in his thing and color it and then I made a blow up of it. So that's basically us drawn as superheroes by a comic book artist. I did that for our first anniversary. And as you can see, just comic books, some music stuff. There are my dogs sleeping and they are snoring away still. And yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. More boxes of comics that I'm gonna eventually go through for you guys. So I hope you like this and have a great weekend.